elusive, a dog attack leaving one animal dead and another badly hurt. And now a police investigation is underway. Local 10's Ian Marble is joining us. He's in Fort Lauderdale with more on this one. Ian? This happened on Saturday. This dog attacked two other dogs, killing one of them, seriously hurting another one. Now, the people who live in this area and walk their pets through this area want to make sure no other animals get hurt. Anytime I close my eyes, I start reliving this. Every day, Jay Powell and Ted Lopper walk their dogs with a group of friends through Fort Lauderdale's Victoria Park neighborhood. But on Saturday, that daily ritual went horribly wrong as they walked by a man sleeping in his truck with his own dog inside. The dog jumped out of the window and attacked one of our friends, little miniature pincer, had the little dog by the neck, shook him, broke his neck, broke his back. The attacking dog dropped the min pin and grabbed a hold of Ted and Jay's Havanese named Alex. You know, I tried kicking it and whatever. But I just had to lay down on top of it just to stop it from moving. They both yes. reached their hands into its mouth to try and pry its jaws open, but had no luck. Then another friend, Joel Lee, ran over to the truck the dog's owner was sleeping in. I was yelling at him, trying to get him to get up, and then I started bamming on the side of the door to wake him up, and he finally woke up. He jumped out, called for the dog to stop, and the attack was over as quickly as it had started. Then the dog's owner grabbed her, jumped back into the truck, and sped off, but not before someone in the group snapped a photo of the black Escalade pickup's license plate. We hope this is public service, you know, just to, um, just to make people aware, you know, that these horrible things can happen. That another dog or perhaps a child doesn't get attacked by this dog again. So both dogs that were attacked were taken to an emergency vet nearby. Unfortunately, that min pin named Bandit did not make it. The Havanese is doing okay. That group of friends that walk their dogs together, they actually did a donation in Bandit's honor to a local animal rescue here in Fort Lauderdale. As for that dog that did the attacking, Fort Lauderdale police, they came out here, they did a report. They've given the information they have to Broward Animal Care. Now they are both investigating this, trying to find that man and his dog. So if you see that car with the Ohio license plate, give Broward Crime Stoppers a call, 954-493-TIPS. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.